Okay, <clears throat> we're doing Tech Math 2, um, 9.9, 9.10, and 9.11 out of the Red Book, page 419. I've got my TA C3PO holding my uh, markers. And um, what we're looking here is they want multiple answers for the same question here. <clears throat> the arc tangent of 1.3055. So we took that into our calculator, do, 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 second tangent of 1.3055, and then hit enter, and that should kick out 53 degrees. But then it says, wait, and another one. Well, if we think about this, what's going on here is, I lost my red marker, there it is. What's going on here is at 1.3, like here's the, the tangent drawn out a bunch of times. Here's zero degrees. Um, and let's see, every 90 and 180 and 270. And so what we have is at 1.3, that's going on. There's an infinite amount of correct answers. There's a correct answer here, 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 and so on. And so we, we go on infinitely, but if we put degrees in here, here's zero degrees, here's 90 degrees, it's cyclic. Every 180 degrees, we get a repeat. So there's 180, there's 270, here's 360. So they don't want us to look at these points. They don't want us to look at these points. They just want from 0 to 360. So just what I'm sectioning off in blue here. We only get to look at this window. How many answers happen in that window? Well, we already found the one. This was 53 degrees. Now here comes the trouble. We have to find this one. Well, there's a couple of ways to find that. When you've got the picture laid out here and you know it's cyclic every 180 degrees, what we could do is just say 53 degrees plus 180. And, and that gives us our, our other answer, the 233 degrees. Um, another way to do that is you can think all Star Trek class. All Star Trek class. So where is tangent positive? Well, tangent is positive in the first quadrant, which we found it to be 53 degrees. And then it would also be in the third quadrant. So if we extend that out and think, okay, how would I get there? Well, it would be 180 degrees and then 53 degrees more. So 53 degrees would be my little reference angle, if you remember that reference angle. And then 180 plus 53 degrees is still 233. That's just a different way of looking at it. This is putting it on a unit circle, and this is looking at the actual graph. Either one is fine. I don't know that you're going to, again, I don't think these are going to land on um, any Chapter 9 tests or on the final. But... Just good to know, lots of students just think that that one answer that comes up on their calculator is the only answer, when in fact it is not the only answer. All right, and so again, arc tangent of a negative, we plop that into our calculator, it kicks out 137. And then we want to find the other one. Again, we could do that with our picture here. I'll do it in um, blue, negative one, happens here and here and here, negative one, well, negative 0.9, and you know, here, and there would be another here, and infinitely, but we only are looking in this box from 0 to 360, so it's just this one and this one. Well, one of them is 137, I add 180 to 137, that gives me 317, and we're done. If, if we wanted to do that with all Star Trek class, all Star Trek class, what would happen would be, it would be in the 137, would be in the second quadrant. 
37 degrees. And then what we would do to find it in the fourth quadrant, because that's where it's positive in first and third, it's negative in second and fourth. And since it was a negative, those would be the two we want. We just slide over another 180 degrees, add 180 to it. And so again, if you wanted to go reference angles, we could find the reference angle there, the reference angle there, and subtract from 360, which would be fine. We'd still get the 370. So either way is fine. All right. 910 is really the same thing with sine, and um, 911 is the same thing with uh, cosine. So uh, we can take a look at those. Let's see how much 